Joffre uh, uh, Rudel is an uh, artist. He is um, a creator, but also a prince. He has lived a kind of vain life, like some successful movie stars today could do. He realizes that his life has been very superficial. And maybe that's the moment of his life that he hears about this countess, who is so beautiful and so pure, and who then becomes really the perfect object of, of his love. The question is, of course, uh, what does he really know about her? The idea of going to see the real Clemence seems, therefore, like a very good idea, but uh, but then during the actual actual journey, he realizes he starts to realize himself that, that it's craziness. Finally, he does not know anything about this lady, and uh, he left all his earlier life because of her. Then there is Clemence, which clearly was born in France and was brought to Tripoli and finds that it's not uh, her country and who cannot even really remember how France was but uh, but has this nostalgia uh, for this country. When he, she hears that, that there is somebody thinking of her and singing of her, it's exactly what she needs to 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 dream about life as, as she maybe would like it to be. Then there is the pilgrim, which uh, is like destiny, who is, uh, I mean, always says that, uh, that the destiny which is suing these two lives together, is she a real person? I don't know. Uh, what comes to my relation to um, these three persons, I for a long time didn't understand what was my relation. And then at some point when I was quite advanced um, in composing the score, suddenly I realized that uh, I am the Chauffre and uh, I am Clemence and uh, I am the destiny who tries to bring all these three persons together. I am the woman and I'm not a composer, and uh, I am trying to live the life of the two.